Good morning everybody, this is Alexandre from Angel Cartomancy and it's a pleasure each week to be with you and to discuss about our favorite oracle, the Lenor, the Petit Lenormand Oracle deck. So first, before um, starting this week's video, I want to thank everybody who had joined us as a subscriber. And yes, we are now over uh, 2,000 uh, subscribers for this channel, and I'm very, very happy and very thankful. I want to thank each and every one of you for um, subscribing and for being very supportive and you know commenting and you know giving life to this channel uh, like i said always this is not my channel it's yours it is there in service to help you uh, develop your intuition also develop your skills in reading the petit de normand okay so uh yeah thank you again for subscribing and if you're not a subscriber yet i urge you to do so by simply clicking on the subscription uh, button and each time a new video is on you will receive a notification from youtube telling you that a new video is available and you can check it out okay so for this week discussion i have took something quite you know interesting that many people ask me about it's how to describe uh, physical appearance physical description of of someone using the petit de normand okay uh, and this question comes often you know when you're doing a love reading and when um the querent you know is asking you okay i will meet someone but how do this person looks like how will i recognize him and with the help of the cards you can get a lot of information by the way the person looks like um if there is any significant um you know uh, uh gesture or the way of talking or voice or you know color of skin all these uh information you know can be obtained through the cards what you need to understand is that uh, when you're using the cards to, to describe someone you must you know forget about the general meaning of the cards okay so what i what i'm trying to tell you is that for instance when you're doing the reading to see how mr wright will look like if you get the bear we are not going to talk about you know he looks like your boss or he looks like money you know we are going to take on the qualities and the properties of the symbol okay for instance what we know about a bear this is you know an animal that is greedy have a lot of hair very big strong can be you know sometimes um aggressive but in the same time this is someone that you know protect the family so these are the meanings that we are going to use in uh in a reading so let's take an example here let's pretend that uh mary is you know had uh signed herself on a dating you know website and she had several person to look at and she wants to know you know mr right how will he look like so she can get a clue on where she is going and for instance we get the bear we get the book and we get the we've got the tower okay so the cards are showing us the bear this is someone who loves to eat like we said previously someone who have a lot of you know hair it can be facial hair it can be also you know have a lot of hair on the chest someone really you know have a big body can be a little bit of the weight okay with the book again someone who is thick someone who had a hard skin you know and with the tower this is someone who is very tall okay very tall uh, very impulsive and very strong okay so mary should look into these description 
to find the right person on her dating website okay so i invite you really to try this it's a lot of fun you know it's a lot of fun and what you can do also is to actually you know look at some people and you know attribute their expression their teeth their eyes their skin to uh the normal cards you know for instance someone who had small teeth will be you know the mice someone who has a long nose could be the stork someone who has small piercing eyes will be the bird so try to use your cards and to actually you know get this information and you can also use these when you're doing a mediumship reading because you can you know want to know who is there and the cards will describe the person and who is there in the spirit okay the normal is not only for practical and daily uh of everyday life use it can be also a powerful spiritual tool and you can do a lot of channeling a lot of mediumship reading using these amazing cards Talking about spirituality and spirit, I have a very interesting question from someone who asks, should one be spiritual or religious to read the cards? Okay, so my answer is yes and no. No first, of course, because um, when we read the cards, we're using, you know, intuition. Okay, and I see intuition as something which is embedded in each and every one of us. It's like, you know, an ability, it's a muscle. Like every muscle in the body, any organ, when you work it a lot, it becomes stronger. Okay, and the less you use it, it becomes soft and, you know, and useless. Same here, some people will be very intuitive because they listen to this intuitive part of, of, of them and they can easily tune in any, you know, in the channel of information. So you don't need to be spiritual, you don't need to be religious to be able to read because this is your birthright. Your intuition is, you know, part of you. And I, you know, my dream is really to see people using this muscle as you would use your eyes to see the beauty around you, I hope that everyone could use this third eye to see, you know, the beauty and the wisdom that your intuition can reveal to you, okay? So you don't need to be spiritual. Of course, being, you know, spiritual, being grounded, this is what, you know, makes you stronger. Because when you practice, when you have a spiritual practice, uh, you have this peacefulness, this confidence that maybe you don't have when you're not doing, you know, any kind of spiritual work. Uh, it really helps to build and to uh, evolve and to uh, bring this ability to its fullest. But basically, you don't need to be, you know, how to be part of a religion or like, you know, group or being spiritual, or being, you know, pious, to be able to read the cards. This week reading, I am using my Black Cat Lodormand. This is a deck that I really love because it came to me during a dream. So let me take a minute to uh, to tell you this story. So one night I was sleeping and in my dream I was like, you know, uh, in a like a, a dim room, you know, that there was not a lot of light. There were candles. The candles were not white. They were that, you know, this uh, creamy color, like old candles in, in the old times. And in this room there was a lot of, you know, sumptuous uh, wool ornaments and the ceiling was beautifully, uh, you know, own, owned. And there was these beautiful velvet uh, curtains with the fringe and all, you know, all these beautiful things. And I was there and I was 
sitting at a table, very antique table, with um, you know, will uh, a velvet cloth on the table, and I was dealing a deck of cards. Okay, I was dealing a deck of cards. I knew that you know my body was different. My hands were different when I look at my hands; they were different. I had these antique rings, and I had this heavy you know, outfit that was at the time. And I knew that I was not in our time. It was not in our era. It was a very, very long time. And I was dealing the cards and I was talking a language that I don't know about, but I was knowing what I'm telling the person. And I was doing a reading for this, for this person and I was using a Le Normand deck. Uh, at the end of the reading, the person thanked me and the person paid me and it was Lira, the currency. And I knew that I was in Italy because uh, the ancient uh, money before the Euros, because Europe has grouped themselves into uh, a state and using the same money. But before that, uh, the Lira, Lilir, was what was used in Italy. And when I woke up, I tried to, you know, recompose the deck and I could f easily find the illustration and the, I knew what to put on the cards and I knew what it was. And um, yeah, the deck came to me in a strange way and I have shared it with the world and everyone is very happy about how accurate the card, you know, yells and how beautiful this deck is. It's a black cat. You, you will see it. There, there is a black cat on each and every card and it's beautiful. So I'm using this deck today and the free cards that came up for us this week is the book, the ride and the tree. Okay. So, um, yeah. These three cards are really showing us that, uh, again, it's a week to move forward with the writer, move forward, but also to know a little bit more before taking any decision. The tree is a card that really asks you to be patient before you are able to take any decision, okay? So don't rush. Don't read only the cover of the book. You need to go deep inside it to reveal its secrets, to reveal its wisdom. It may be also the book of wisdom that you are actually having this week. There is all kind of revelation coming to you and uh, the cards are really uh, telling you to go for it, to learn more. So if you are thinking about learning Reiki, about uh, energy healing, uh, all these kind of, you know, uh, energetic work. This is a beautiful week to start. Okay. It's a beautiful week to start and to, you know, let the wisdom of these sciences just, you know, in, involve in you. Okay. Beautiful week for each and every one of us. So I hope that this week video had brought some kind of uh, inspiration and that you will try to describe people using the Lenormand and really, you know, apply the properties of these cards, okay? So I leave you with all this wisdom and all this playfulness and look forward to talk to you next week. Bye.